Hi, I'm Carlos Gutierrez with Prudential California Realty and welcome to my video updates. I'm asked all the time, as Carlos, is it better investment to buy a fixer upper or to buy a home that is move-in ready? There's not a clear cut answer to that question, but I do have some tips to help you make a more educated decision. The first thing you need to do is consider the location. Ask your agent to give you a list of comparables, what homes are selling for and in the different areas. You want to make sure that you don't put so many improvements into the home that it will be most expensive home in the whole entire neighborhood. Make sure you know what you put into the home. You'll be able to get out of the home. Don't forget to factor in the cost of labor, which can be a lot more expensive than the materials you buy. That brings us to tip number two. Be honest with your skill level. Many buyers make the mistake of pricing out the materials and thinking they can do the work on themselves. That's one of the most common mistakes people make. You may think it's a simple wiring update, but it could require a complete update and overhaul of the entire electrical, which could involve permits. If you try to do the projects yourself without the experience, the renovations will look homemade instead of polished. If you have a skill set, you should use it, but unless you have also have the time, you should make sure that you have the money in your budget to hire a professional to do these projects. Lastly, be able to differentiate between cosmetic and structural. When you're looking for homes to fix up, ask your realtor to help you spot the homes that have good bones, the ones that need cosmetic repairs. The best fixture uppers are the properties that don't look good when you tour them, but upon closer inspections only need those cosmetic improvements. Look for homes that just need new cabinets, fresh paint, new flooring and appliances. Unless you're a contractor, you should steer clear of those homes that are labeled as is because that could indicate structural defects like foundation cracks or mold in the walls. If you need further investigation and or a personal contractor or professional contractor or home inspector, give me a call. It's Carlos with Prudential, 858-551-3380. See you at our next real estate update.